Y'all know what it is. We do this every Sunday. It's the morning after. As you can hear, I have no voice. Um, I've got some good, some bad, some ugly. For the uninitiated, we dive into 11 points on offense, 11 points on defense, roughly, because I kind of go all over the place. And what we saw in this game, a lot of good, a hell of a lot of bad, and boy, was it ugly. We're going to break all of that down right now. Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. This video is powered by our partners over at BetUS. Get 150% bonus up to $2,000 on your first deposit using the promo code YouTube150 that lets people know that I sent you. BetUS, where the games begin. So let's begin on this. All right. Um, if y'all was on the live with us at uh, Locked On Sooners, you know, I kind of broke down my initial emotions. I didn't get much sleep last night, as y'all would probably expect. Stayed up late, watched some more of the game again and again. Watched a couple other games too, man. It was it was a lot of good games this, this weekend to really get into. But I'm going to start off by saying this. Shout out to you, the fans. The ones that were there at the game, shout out to you. Holly Rowe had said that the decibel levels down there were like, well, like a hundred and something in the game. One of the highest that they've seen since like at LSU. Shout out to y'all. Y'all make this game tough, right? Y'all make this game really tough. And everyone told me that Oklahoma would get decimated in this game. Like blasted. That's what I was told. And the one thing I told y'all, I've been telling y'all all season, one thing I told y'all in the off season, we would have to ride this defense. And I felt like th- year three in a Brent Venables defense, we were going to get that. Well, I'm just going to tell y'all this. We got a defense. And I feel bad for two individuals today. I feel bad for you, the fans. You deserve a better product than what you got. Much better product. You do deserve a much better product. Go ahead. If you need to jump in the comments and give me your I told you so's, feel free. Y'all know I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer. I'm going to give you out a real, but I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer about it. Because there was a lot of half glass fools in this game. But I feel bad for you fans. I know y'all upset. I know y'all are perturbed. I know y'all bothered. I know y'all worked up. Because y'all are excited about what this team is going to produce. I also feel really bad for this defense. Because they had nobody to compliment them until a portion of the second half. So let's break that down. But of course, before we do that, we got to... Get a word from the sponsor. In the description below, you can find the times going over offense and defense because we're going to start on the ugly. We're going on that offense. Bay US is taking care of the gamer, guys. He's They're hooking y'all up. 150% bonus on your first deposit up to $2,000. You got to check them out. Go to BetUS.com. They are taking care of you. So as y'all know, we are in football season. Week three of the NFL has dropped. And you can go in here and easily select some games. We'll have the spreads for the for the for for the college games coming up later this week. But they're taking care of you all, right? You can pick any of these games coming up here on Sunday. A lot of great spreads. Tampa Bay playing against the Broncos. Y'all know our boy Bake. We want him to bake. So you can go in here and make your bets. And they're taking care of you. So your first deposit is 150% bonus up to 2000 Your second and third is 125% up to $2,000. They are taking care of the gamer. And they also have gambler's insurance. They're going to give you 10% back on your net losses twice a year. That's right. Nobody else is doing that in the industry. And they're making sure that you can come in and continue to keep playing. So check them out. Bet US. Use the promo code YouTube150 so they can hook you up. And let the games begin. So Jackson Arnold's done. I'm going to say this. This is the new era of Sooner Civilization. Because I don't think he plays another down as a starter, unless there's another injury. Yeah, I, I mentally, he's not there. You can tell. He wasn't mentally there at all. Because this is amazing to me how this game went. The interception, even Brent Venables said he was a little shocked at why he even threw that to J.J. Hester in triple coverage. I watched it again. I, I didn't. I didn't see what he saw. I didn't. I couldn't see it. It was not a good choice. 
The run game ain't there. First time in a long time we haven't had a run game. But that can be attributed to the offensive line as well. We finally get Hickman back. We play Uzeda out there at the guard, which he actually looked pretty solid in some pass pro. He, the run blocking just, the decisions in the run was not there. I mean, when we ran some outside zone, we broke some yards on the first drive. When we went to inside zone, we didn't do much. And then we kept going for it. Um, there's a lot of people y'all want to blame. Y'all want to blame the offensive coordinator. You want to blame the quarterback, the offensive line, the running backs, wide receivers. Hey, guess what? We're going to blame everybody because this is an encompass unit. Everybody had their part. We got Nick back and then he went right back out with injury. Oh yeah. Did y'all know that we had a whole bunch of injuries in this game too? More. Yeah, we are in injury purgatory right now. And I feel real bad for Brent Venables for having to answer questions about that because I think somebody asked him what they're going to do about the injuries. He's like, what, like Kendall Doby going to make a tackle and dislocating his ankle? Am I supposed to like, like how am I supposed to answer that? Because you can't. There were football plays that led to these injuries. Taylor Tatum, if y'all want to know why you won't see him for a bit, he has a concussion. He got, he, I think it, it felt like it was that play when he lit up the edge or something. I, I just couldn't figure out where it was. I got to rewatch it again to try. I've been trying to find it. I just, I, I haven't paid attention to it. I've been looking at other stuff. But Tatum's done for a bit. He got a concussion. Tennessee came out there hitting. And I'm going to tell y'all this. I think we saw the best defensive line in the country. Right? I, their defensive line is really good. Their front four is really good. And for the most part, kind of held our own. Right? The fact that if we didn't throw that interception, this game was going to be 0 0 for a bit. Right? The fact that we fumbled after getting fumbles made me lose my mind. I feel bad for the defense. They kept putting us in all the positions to take the lead. This felt like a diet version of the Arizona game. Self-inflicted wounds. Just bow, bow, shooting ourselves in the leg. We've got to do better with that. This is only on Seth Luttrell figuring this out. Bright spot here. you got to give it to Michael Hawkins. That man went out there and was a warrior. He balled out. He just improvised the entire game and tried to figure it out, and he did it. Shout out to him. I've only got concerns for two teams going forward. Real concerns, like legitimate concerns for this offense on two teams going forward. Actually, we'll say three. Texas, Ole Miss, Alabama. Legitimate concerns. South Carolina's got a really good defensive front. I think we'll be fine. Missouri, yeah, I saw them in Vandy. Right? LSU, absolutely not. Right? But for this front, I'm concerned about that Texas game for now. We'll get to that point a lot later. But this offensive front needs to figure themselves out. They need to get more nasty. Because when they were getting nasty, Jackson Arnold had time. And I don't want to sit there and bash him this entire time because y'all do enough of that. So y'all can do that in the comments. I, I'm good on that part because I understand. I mean, the kid's what, 19 years old. Feel bad for him. But you could tell that he didn't have it. You can tell that he wasn't there mentally. So the offense wouldn't move the ball. First down plays, I think like 15 straight. It was barely any yards gotten. Either incomplete pass or a loss of yards. It was bad. Seven plays, like a total of like two yards, something like that. It was weird, dude. 15 plays, I mean, so seven total yards, 15 plays, seven total yards, two turner, turnovers on first down and a safety. Brutal. We just kept shooting ourselves in the foot, man. That's what it was. We kept doing it. Let me know what y'all think. Hop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I know y'all going to rip up the offense, and that's fine. Get it out. Get out the system. It's cool. We'll be live tonight, so I ain't tripping. Just go ahead. I mean, I'm about to hop on a plane and I'll get to the comments once I land. Let's talk defense. Y'all see the work that the defense did in this game? So Tennessee 
It's one of the most prolific offenses in the country. Tennessee averages about 600 and like 50 yards a game. Tennessee finished the game with 345. Now you may think that, well, Jay's second half, they took the foot off the gas because, you know, they knew the offense wasn't going to do anything. You're probably right. And they realized that, okay, we ain't going to put too much on tape because the last thing we need is more injuries because they dealt with some too. They, they, the offensive line was getting beat up too. Our D-line did well. They put a lot of pressure on Nico, in which I told y'all. I told y'all this before. I am terrified of Nico next season. I am terrified. He looked like a redshirt freshman out there. A redshirt freshman with confidence. Moxie. You can tell that kid can ball. He is so good. I was right in my evaluation of him. The guy's on two deep passes. One, I blame my guy, Zach Allen, even though I believe in him. I blame him on the first one. Second and one, you can't bring out a a safety blitz. You can't play the run on second and one. You got to trust your linebackers and your defensive line there. He brought up the safety and they were able to get a quick slant going and Thornton's fast. He caught it and was gone. That was on Kanai. Happens to the best of them. You can't win them all. Especially when you're trying to play. Because play action, Nico was lights out on play action. Why? I'll tell you why. Because that's what happens when you have a really good run game. Remember, Tennessee averages 300 yards a game in rushing. It's like 338, 340. We held them to 150. About half of what they typically, well, less than half of what they typically run. We held them to. Because they normally run for a lot more. Samson in first half, they were struggling. They were struggling to really move the ball on us. In the first half. They had one really good drive. They had the deep pass to Brew McCoy after the interception. And then they didn't go anywhere. Now my boy Nico, uh, my boy Nick Battle over there, um, Nino's corner. He's like, AJ, I think Gallo's susceptible to some big plays on, on in, in secondary. I'm like, no, I can see that. But we got to play smarter and prepare for that. And we got beat two deep plays. 38-yarder to Brew McCoy and the 66-yard touchdown. But guess what we did the rest of the game? Dog. When they went up, they went up 10-3 because of the, the, the they got the field goal, the Brew McCoy deep pass, and then they got the, the Thornton touchdown. Their next possession, Robert Spears Jennings calls a freaking fumble. Gets us the ball inside. Of the five-yard line. Shout out to the defense. Shout out to them. Then we hit it right back. So the defense said, all right, guys, we'll put you back on our back. We immediately caused what? A punt. A punt. (laughs) Oh, man. Back, we were in it. Finished the game in three sacks. Dejon Terry, Roberts, Mason, R. Mason Thomas got himself a sack. Trace Ford got himself a sack. Robert Spears Jennings got himself a sack. We had nine tackles for loss. Broke up two passes, which was really good. We were good defensively, man. We, we, we were really good. That Lewis Carter tackle for loss was elite. I'm heaping praise on this defense because this defense did what they need to do. Then we get the, the safety. I don't know what that was. Get a false start, drops us back two yards, and then we get a safety. So the defense said, all right, put us back on. We'll put you back on our back. We got this. Three plays, punt. You know what I mean? Three and outs Tennessee had. They had five in the first half. Five of their possessions were three and outs. Two of them were fumbles. Fumbles! We did what we were supposed to do on defense, man. And this is when the game was close. This is when Tennessee was still trying to figure out how to, you know, get going. Yeah, we gave up that deep touchdown, but guess what? That defense did everything else. This defense was lights out. So, again, when I told you we were leaning on this defense, we are now. It's time the offense had to step up. 
then the offense is going to step up now because Michael Hawkins is your new quarterback. We will not be seeing Jackson on unless he's in cleanup duty or there's an injury. Knock on wood. We don't need more. Prayers out for our guy, Kendall Doby. He's down. Dislocated ankle. Initial reports were broken. He had to have surgery. Now it's been confirmed after the game. It was a dislocated ankle. Shout out to my guy, Kendall Doby. He did work. He was everywhere in this game. I'm so proud of him in every way, shape, or form. Second half, we came out there after, you know, we fumbled the ball again. Tennessee, go ahead and just get the drive and score a touchdown. The big thing with that is it seemed like a lot of our drives after after these, these turnovers, the defense tried to just stay up constantly. You can't, in the heat of Oklahoma, you cannot keep your defense on the field constantly like that. You need to keep their defense on the field constantly. Period. Got to stay on the offensive. Defense was starting to get gassed. Felt bad for them. We didn't score. We didn't allow a touchdown in the second half. Granted, Tennessee wasn't. Tennessee was trying to just maintain ball control. This is how you win games. Time of possession, thirty-five to twenty-four. First half was all them, and. We would have had the time of possession if our offense could have figured out things. Let me know what y'all think. Hop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. My overall view and reaction to this team is this. We're only in the fourth game. That was our first loss. If Michael Hawkins, who I thought was him when he got here and had been hearing about him for a while, I just don't like starting a true freshman at the beginning of the season. And now it's time for him to start. He's just going to have to figure it out. Take the training wheels off and say, hey, dog, just go make plays. He was a dog. Y'all saw him dove in for the end zone for the touchdown. Tried to, at least they took it away from him. But hey, he put it all out there. Shout out to him. Feel bad for Jackson Arnold. He's got to get his head straight. He was traumatized somehow. I don't know. I, I couldn't be in Arizona. Threw for 362 yards, right? <laughs> he ate. He's got to figure himself out. I wondered if he was being forged in fire in practice. And it appears that he just couldn't handle the heat in the forging. So we're going to have to just move on. You got what you wanted, fans. Not all of you, but the ones that were trolling most of the time. Yeah, you got it. Got a new quarterback, Michael Hawkins. This may be another CW Rattler situation. Jackson Arnold's going to go somewhere else. He's going to do very well. I don't know. I don't see a situation where he sticks around. Unless he's got that competitive dog in him. I don't see a situation where he sticks around. But we'll see. This video is powered by our partners over at BetUS. Get 150% bonus up to $2,000 on your first deposit using the promo code YouTube150 that lets people know that I sent you. All right, I'm out. We'll be live tonight. You'll see that video, that uh, link pop up later. Me and Cooper dive even deeper into this. I'm pulling up my statistics. I'm about to download the game again and watch it on the flight. And I got, yeah, I got three hours. So I'll be watching that game like crazy. And yeah, again, I'm sorry, fans. I'm sorry. We'll talk later. Peace.